arrived in, uh, in Timor-Leste in the early days of October 1999. Uh, at that point, this country looked like a war zone. 80% or more of all buildings in Timor, in the capital Dili, had been destroyed. There was no water, there was no electricity, people had fled for their lives. It was total devastation. Now, a little more than a decade later, we're in a totally different situation in this country. A momentum has truly been built. We have now a functioning government. Democratic institutions have been established. And first and foremost, of course, peace and stability prevail. This year alone, we have, uh, we have um, gone through two rounds of presidential elections, we've gone through parliamentary elections, we've seen a new government that's been formed, we've seen the new parliament uh, established, constitute itself with an active opposition. We are truly in a different situation when you compare to ten years ago. Does that mean that all the problems in this country have been resolved? No. Uh, but, in fact, that's not the right question uh, to ask. The right question to ask is, is this country stable, is it peaceful, and does it have leadership, does it have institutions that are capable of dealing with uh, the challenges that this country continue, continues to face? The answer, to my mind, is very clear. Yes, this country is ready, and that is precisely why we expect that by the end of 2012 uh, there would no longer be UN peacekeeping in this country because this country no longer needs that kind of support from the international community.